Up next on Live at 5, another subway train derails on the day a new transit chief takes office. Two bombs damage a Bronx Army Reserve Center and a radical group takes responsibility. Betty Furness reports on a new law that helps natural parents find the children they gave up for adoption. Marv Albert talks to Jets quarterback Richard Todd. We'll talk with actor Tom Conti. Pia looks at the new Broadway musical La Caja Fall, which has opened after a smash run in Boston. Jane Hansen has a special report on scary movies. And Liz Smith is back from vacation. All that and more coming up on Live at 5. Stay with us. WNBC TV New York. This is Live at Five with Jack Cafferty and Sue Simmons. Good afternoon. Another New York City subway train has gone off its tracks. The 13th derailment so far this year. Happened on the Broadway IRT just about a mile from another derailment last week. A derailment which coincided with the resignation of TA President John Simpson. A southbound shuttle train went off the tracks this afternoon on the bridge between Manhattan and the Bronx near the 215th Street station. Bob Teague has been covering the story and he's at the scene with a live report. Bob? After struggling all afternoon to get the train back on the tracks, workmen finally finished that job at 4.45 p.m. The train has been removed now from this bridge on the Harlem River, and the first local train to use those tracks since the accident came along about 10 minutes later at 4.45. So a northbound service on the Broadway line, the Transit Authority says, should be getting back to normal before the end of the evening rush. The derailment took place at 12.42 this afternoon, causing long delays going north. When northbound locals reached the station at 215th Street, about five blocks south of the accident, they had to switch to the express tracks in the middle to bypass the next three stations north of the accident. The stations at 225th Street, 231st, and 238th Streets. To reach those stations, northbound riders had to stay on the train to the Van Cortlandt station, then cross over to the southbound local. Southbound service, the Transit Authority says, is normal, so we are not talking about a major disaster up here. 